टूडे वी लर्न अबाउट इम्पल्स ट्रवाइन वर्किंग और इम्पल्स ट्रवाइन हाउ इट वर्क्स इम्पल्स ट्रवाइन वेन वाटर स्टोर्ड इन रिजर्व वायर एंड इट फ्लोज थ्रू द पेन स्ट्रोक टू द इनलेट ऑफ ट्रबाइन इट हैज प्रेशर एनर्जी ऑफ वाटर वेन दिस प्रेशर एनर्जी ऑफ वाटर पासिस थ्रू द नोजल so it is totally forms the high velocity jet of water and this available energy of water is totally converted into kinetic energy of water and pelton wheel turbine is an example of impulse turbine which has tangential flow now we discuss about the components of impulse turbine first component is pen stroke it is a passage used to carry the water from reservoir to the turbine inlet and it is generally made up of steel or cement concrete etc and water is flowing through the pen stroke and this is a sphere it is used to control the flow rate of water into the turbine due to linear movement of the sphere space between nozzle and sphere increases or decreases in such a way flow rate of water increase or decrease accordingly this is a casing the casing of an impulse turbine do not perform any hydraulic function it prevent the splashing of water and discharge the water into the tail race it can also be used as a safeguard against accident and the casing is made up of cast iron and manufactured by casting this is the runner of uh, an impulse turbine which is circular disc and which is mounted on a on a horizontal shaft the buckets are fixed to the ferry ferry of the runner uniformly at equidistant spaces the shape of the bucket is like a double hemispherical cup each bucket is divided vertically into two parts by a splitter the splitter splits the jet of water into two equal parts without any shock and this is a nozzle it is used to transfer the net available pressure energy of water into kinetic energy and jet from the nozzle strikes at the center of the buckets with a very high velocity and leaves the bucket with a comparatively low velocity and here we can get the motion into the runner and runner starts to rotate and all the water that is discharging from the bucket that is totally stored in tail race so this is the working of an impulse turbine and here we can say the pressure throughout the process that is atmospheric it is constant and all the energy transfer that is due to an impulse action so when sphere moves forward so there is water and runner is continuously rotating so this is rotating due to an inertia so when we need to rotate uh, stop this runner in a short span of time so then we use a braking nozzle this is the braking nozzle and the water is coming from the braking nozzle and strikes at the back of the buckets to stop the runner in a short span of time now as we can see the runner is rotating in anti clockwise direction so when water strikes the buckets at the back of the runner so it rotates in clockwise direction Uh, as we can see the motion rotation of the runner changed in it becomes now in clockwise direction and this is very beneficial to uh, stop the run in so short span of time so here we can see now the runner in uh, stop condition so this is the working of an impulse turbine today we discuss subscribe to get more updates and universe double 2 you may like share and comment and give your suggestions if required Thank you. Have a nice day.